in a sense, um, in this clip, we're going to be going over how to express numbers in exponential form. So, uh, the title of this review on exponential form. This is uh, something you learned in Algebra 2, and um, we're going to be using it next class when you have the power visitor. Okay? So, review on exponential form. So, um, Let's write down the learning objective real quick. So the objective. Objective is basically uh, by completing by completing 80% of assigned classwork problems. Problems. You will apply the law of exponents law of exponents in writing numbers in exponential form in exponential form so let's try out some examples um, write in exponential form. Write in exponential form. Number one, two. How do you write two in exponential form? Two in exponential form is simply two and one. End of story. Okay? Uh, let's try another example. Okay, how about we have 49? Well, how do we do 49? Uh, to do 49, all you do is you take 49 and uh, you break it down, right? 49 is 7 times 7. So 49 is basically 7 times 7. Because your two sevens is simply seven to the second power. All right. Uh, what if we had twenty-four? How do we write twenty-four in exponential form? Same process. What we do is we take twenty-four and we break it down using only prime factors. Okay. So if I take out two out of twenty-four, I'm left with twelve. If I take out two from twelve, I'm left with six. I take out two from six, I'm left with three. So since we, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, so what does that mean? 2 to the 3rd times 3 to the 1. And that's the uh, exponential form. Okay, uh, let's try something slightly more uh, involved. Let's look at number 4. What if we had 1 over 8? Uh, number 1 over 8. How do we do that? Write that down. If we have 1 over 8, what we do is we take 8 and break it down first. Alright, so uh, take out 2 out of 8. We're left with 4. Take out 2 out of 4, you're left with 2. These are all primes. So this is going to be 1 over 2 times 2 times 2. Which is 1 over what? 2 to the 3rd. Now since 2 is in the, 2 to the 3rd is in the bottom, we can move, move it to the top. When we move it to the top, the reciprocal becomes negative. So it becomes 2 to the what? Negative 3. You notice how the sign changes? When you go from denominator to numerator, the sign changes. Number 5. What if we had point zero zero one? Everybody write this down. Now this one, uh, you have to um, write this as a fraction. So uh, this is going to become 0 0.001 divided by 1 point. 
Okay. I want to make the numerator and whole number. So I got to move the decimal point how many times? I got to move it one, two, three. Move it three times to the right. So in the denominator, I'm going to have to also move it three times to the right. One, two, three. Okay? So that becomes one over one. So you have, you put a zero here, put a zero here, put a zero here. One over 1,000. So what is 1,000? I know 10 to the 1 is 10. 10 to the second is 10 times 10, which is 100. I don't want that. 10 to the third is 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 1,000. Voila, this is what I want. So this has become, this becomes 1 over 10 to the third. Now, so we're going to go back to number 4. You see how I moved this to the top and it became negative? We have, uh, apply the same process here. So the become 10 to the negative 3. All right, so there goes your answer. Okay, let's try another one that looks like this. Uh, and then we'll get started with the classwork. Uh, number six, what if we had uh, point zero 0.01, what would this look like? This would be, we're going to write this as 0 0.01 over 1 point, okay? Because every whole number, every number can be divided by 1. It doesn't change anything. I want to make the top a whole number, right? So to accomplish that, I have to move the decimal point twice, 1, 2 to the right. So if I do that to the top, I have to do the same thing to the bottom, 1, 2 to the right. So we have... To put two zeros into this box that were created, right? So it's going to become 1 over 100, which becomes 1 over 10 squared. So we're going to write this as a numerator without a denominator, so it's going to become 10 to the negative 2. So that's what. Alright? So now we're going to go ahead and get started with the classwork problems.